at DICOM directories. DICOM directories are characterized by a special file, in this case called DICOMDIR, which acts as an index for the directory. If we open this file and use an hexadecimal viewer, we can see that it is a normal DICOM file with the preamble and the prefix, and with tags which have value, representations, length, and value. What makes a DICOM DIR different is that it serves as an index which references other DICOM files. Let's use DCM dump to check the content of the file. And we have the usual metadata. Among them, we can find a subclass UID If we look at the documentation, we can see that this subclass UID corresponds to the media storage directory storage. This tells us that we are dealing with a DICOM DIR. The interesting part of the DICOM DIR starts with the tag DICOM directory record sequence. Following these tags are a set of items which correspond to the index of the DICOM directory. For each record, we can see a directory record type, which can be patient, study, series, or image. For the images, we can also see a referenced file ID, which is the link to the relative path to the file itself. In this way, the DICOM directory is an index which references other DICOM files. The structure of the DICOM directory is not very easy to see using DCM dump. DCM4C provides us with another tool to read DICOM directories called DCM DIR. DCM DIR can do a lot more than just read the DICOM directory. It can be used to create one and to manage it, to add, to add items, remove them, or list the contents. In our case, we just want to list the content of the directory, so we will use the L option. Now the hierarchy of the DICOM object model becomes apparent. At the top level, we have the patient. For each patient, we can have multiple studies. For each study, we can have multiple series, and each series is constituted with images. The only files that will be found in the DICOM directory are the image files. There will be no file for the patient, study, or series. Each image file, however, will also include the information for the study, the series, and the patient. In the next video, we'll see how we can extract data from DICOM files using the Java programming language.